All right, guys, I got another short video on how to uh, remove a password that, that's on the computer. Not a password, but an account that has a password, to better describe it. And um, if, if, if there's no iCloud associated with it, and I would, su I would suggest these uh, steps so that we can remove the password if there's no account linked to it. There's just a password. Um, first things first, you would have to get to uh, recovery mode. To get to recovery mode, you, you would have to make sure that the PC is off. Once the PC is off, completely off, turned off, not restarted, and just completely shut down, you would hold Command R. Holding those down, hit the power button. Once you hit the power button, just keep holding Command R uh, up until the Apple logo comes up. Once the logo comes up, release Command R and just wait for it to uh, load to the recovery screen. Once you get to the recovery screen, screen, sorry about that. Once you get to the screen, you have these options. I mean, you have other options in the side, on the top, top right or left side. Sorry. Um, but if you're just trying to remove the password, let's go to disk utility. From there on, you have the hard drive. Um, from here, you would have the option on the bottom one. It should be this one to erase. As you can see, my settings here are Mac OS Extended Journal and Macintosh HD, that's the name of it. Um, and hit Erase. Once you hit Erase, this should come up empty and, it should, in, uh, and from there on it should, I uh, forgot what it was called, it should just, um, it should be called the drive or something like that. Once you have it erased. Um, now don't, now this would delete everything off of the computer now don't log out of it quickly because if you do you will get to a screen or when you try to start it up you will get to the screen with the question mark uh, a folder with the question mark that's blinking that goes away and, and, and comes back and now um, and if that's the case there's another video that can help you out um, just look through my videos and that should help you out but uh, anyways like I said once you have these uh, this the folder drop um, the bottom one erased just uh, exit out then from there reinstall because then like I mentioned earlier if you don't do this you, when you start it up you, you're gonna get the folder with the blinking question mark and nothing's gonna happen you would have to boot back to this screen again to recovery mode once you uh, get here once you have that erased come to reinstall OS X continue and just continue agree and continue with everything up until it starts downloading um, from there once it's done downloading time time frame is an hour and a half maybe two maybe three depending on your connection everybody has different connection I have I had a reasonable connection and it took me an hour and a half after it downloaded it installed itself when it once it, it was installed, I was then able to proceed in you know, like a normal startup, select language, country, time, and put an account or anything like that. And and from there you should be good.